start. Hi there everyone. Today we are driving a 2007 Lexus GS350 all-wheel drive on our channel. I want to say a huge thank you to Abdul over at Patriot Auto Group of Stafford in Stafford, Virginia for providing me this car. You'll see all the information up top. So reach out to him if you're on the market for a good pre-owned car. As I mentioned in the video, Patriot Auto Group has some cool cars to choose from. I will give you a quick glimpse. So if anyone sees something that they like or want to check out, all the cars that you see here are available for sale. But now, let's proceed to the video. But let's fire up this Lexus. I gotta say, do I love these old, do I love these old Lexuses? They are just so nice. Seriously, beautiful cars. Nice, simple, love it. But let's go take a look outside. This is a nice black on beige color combo. Seems to be super clean on the outside. And what an elegant car this was when it was made. Seriously, gorgeous design. I think it has excellent proportions, nice lines, and it has that aggressive JDM look to it, which many of the newer models don't really give you. And it just looks very luxurious. Just the way the doors are shaped, they're heavy. They feel more German to me than Japanese. Of course, you have your soft touch material, Toyota type wood, Toyota handles, very, very typical Toyota. And then here in the rear, we have very cushy, high quality seats. I'm 6'2", sitting behind myself, and it is a little bit to the tighter side, but still, you know, I can fit in here comfortably. Legroom, headroom wise, it is to the tighter side, like the uh, IS350, but still very nice. You got your cup holders. And just look at how the leather has kept up over, over all these years. It still holds up really well. No sign of wear and tear. You got climate in the back. This is what I love about these older Lexus cars, just how well everything here holds up. You also have your side airbags. Let's take a look at the trunk. I'm sorry, the uh, engine and then the trunk. I guess we're gonna have to open it from the inside, just like every other normal Toyota product. Mm. Um, I'm guessing, so push. Oh, look at this. How cool is that? <laughs> I just discovered that. So here's our trunk, very nice and deep. You can fit in a lot of suitcases here, so I definitely like that. All right, let's go take a look at the engine bay. And in today's test drive, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're actually gonna go measure the acceleration test first and uh, do some highway driving, and then we're gonna come back to the back roads and do some back road driving. So we got the 3.5 liter V6, and I believe it's made it to the six-speed automatic here. And of course here, you know, we're greeted to this beautiful front seat. And you got your foldable foldable mirrors, your gas tank, your, you can adjust the brightness of your displays. I mean, how, how freaking cool is that? I love that. We got the seat ventilation, we got the power mode, snow mode. We got the auto climate. All right visor soft touch dashboard this is your wiper test horn test and let's get going 
All right, let's climb out of here. So first and foremost, I do want to point out that these are very comfy, supportive seats. They do hug you well, but they are to the stiffer side, so they aren't very soft as you'd expect them to be in a Lexus. They are to the firmer side. All right, let's come out here. All right, let's do a first warm-up zero to 60 test. All right, so reset it. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, very nice. Wow. 5.95, ooh la la. So zero to 16, 5.9 seconds. Oh man, that is freaking impressive. Wow. Yeah, we definitely gotta do this again. Wow. For 2007, this is some mind-blowing performance from a family sedan. Three, two, one. Excellent start. 5.79. All righty. Excellent. All right, so we did zero to 60 verified in 5.72 seconds, zero to 62 in flat six, one eighth mile at 9.09 .09 at 78.37, and the 40 to 80 was 6.15. So there you have it. There you have the performance. We did turn off the traction, had it in power, so I gave it a little bit of pre-preload pre on the start, and it, it did very well, so. Amazing performance, amazing performance. What a sleeper. You got somebody tailgating you? No problem. So on the highway, it's nice and refined. You don't hear much road noise. It does ride a little bit stiffer than your just normal Lexus. It is, it is sportier. And let's actually turn turn on the headlights now. Let's adjust the mirrors. Perfect. Let's check out the U-turn radius. Good radius, by the way. Very good. Some work from this engine. Seriously, this car can really move. What's even more crazy about the performance of this car is that it accelerates to 60 in about 
the same time as the Audi S5 Sportback, like the very new one. If you floor both cars off a of light, S5 is probably gonna do it on like 5.5, and this does it like 5.8, or maybe like 5.6, 5.8. Assuming, of course, the Audi doesn't use launch control, this will pretty much match its time. And the 1 8 mile time is also very close, within like a couple of tenths of each other. Can you imagine how good the performance on this car is for 300 horsepower that they claim? I think maybe Lexus put in some extra ponies in here back in the day. It doesn't have the newer technology, it doesn't have a turbo, it just has a good old naturally aspirated V6. And this feels way more aggressive than the IS350 that I drove. This feels way, way more willing to go and just shoot out of the hole, you know? We also have this oh we also have the manual mode here we will definitely try that out too i love this this is super duper cool Now once the car is used to my uh, driving a bit more, it definitely responds way better than before when I first uh, pulled it out today from the lot. But yeah, this is awesome. You can also make it like the, the, the dash here brighter. Let's do it a little bit brighter. Yeah, like that. That's how I want it. And it's a nice ride. This is like the perfect stiffness, perfect smoothness. In this car, I would never get car sick because it's just exactly how I like to have my ride. Haha, <laughs> it's really responsive. See how instantly it winds up? right away just wants to go I feel like the six speed was really just the key to the aggressiveness in this car and you can tell that this is a healthy engine it shows all the factory times Never driven a GS350 of this generation, but it's faster than the GS400 of the older generation. <laughs> Not even giving much throttle and it just wants to go. Let's also check out the the manual mode here. Oh yeah. Excellent manual mode. Instant. Look at this. <laughs> it just dies right up. The nose just dies and it wants to go. This is awesome performance. All right. Oh my gosh. Just the weight kicks down is something out of this world. 
you feel it all through inside of the car how it just rushes to get going some of my favorite downshifts I've seen in any car to be honest Handling feels good. It's secure, very stable. There's minimal body lean for this kind of car. It handles more athletically than the ES per se or any other Lexus of that category from that year. Probably the IS350 and 250 would be the closest comparisons in terms of handling. But compared to like the ES or the RX, this is, this is way sportier. Great cornering. Brakes also feel pretty good. I haven't noticed any fade. Good stopping power for this weight. You can definitely feel the weight into the corners if you push it more. But this is awesome. This is definitely an awesome machine. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> oh, this Lexus is aggressive. <laughs> it wants to go. And everything inside the cabin is just so logical. It's so easy to use. You have everything you need, nothing extra, just all the necessities. Crazy, crazy stuff. But let's go turn around and head back and then wrap up the test drive. So once you're going about 70-ish the pickup is going to be pretty similar to the Camry V6 of the same like 2007 plus era they do have similar pickup but definitely the 0 to 60 and just the standing acceleration this definitely wins easily it's so much quicker off the line The way it shoots up to 80 is so impressive. If you're going like 65, 70, you gun it, it's right in the best power zone. The best sweet place to move. This is a very capable Lexus and for the money, where can you find a better car nowadays on the used market? This is one of the nicest bargains that you can buy of that era and this is definitely going to be nicer than many new cars that you can buy today on the market it's faster it's better it rides nicer it's more comfortable it doesn't have any extra unnecessary technology which which can be intrusive none of that
And I love the way the engine here spins out. It's just willing to go. It's ready to ready to fly. Literally, it's it's amazing. It's ready to get going. Very sharp handling too for its weight and size. But let's now go to normal mode and just relax. Just like this. Because honestly, this Lexus is just perfect for that. It's relaxing, it's cozy. You just want to put on some good Christmas music, go grab a warm cup of coffee and head back. It's a very relaxing ride. And when you don't push it, you don't really hear it much. The engine is quiet. And there's plenty of torque here. This summarizes our test drive. I really love driving this GS350 and seriously, magnificent machine. Let me know what you think about this car in your comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Let me know how you like the test drive, the video, and till next time.